What is up everybody, welcome back to another episode on EI Entertainment Studios, back at it with another debate episode. Today's debate episode, we're going to be talking about Godzilla 2021 versus Shin Kong. Alright folks, so what are we going to do? We're going to go over the backstories and we're going to basically analyze these two giant creatures. And once we're done with that, we're going to put them up against each other in a death battle. So without further ado, let's begin our first analyzation of Godzilla 2021. So Godzilla is an ancient alpha predator who was awoken by the nuclear bomb. It protects Earth as the ultimate force of nature, and that's why it makes him the alpha, or the king of all the you know monsters. So that makes perfect sense. Now, for abilities, we're going to do a quick skim. We're going to finish off the creature, and once we're done with every you know subsection, we're going to come back to the abilities and do a deep analysis, so do not worry. But for now, let's do a quick uh, skim. So abilities go as follows. Atomic Breath, Combat, Agility, and Burning Ability. Territorial is maximum. Aggression is maximum. Biome is Earth. Height is 120 meters tall. Alright, let's go back to the abilities. Now, the first one we have is known as the Atomic Breath. Now this is the iconic known ability, the main ability of Godzilla, of all Godzillas actually, not just Godzilla 2021, but all Godzillas. And basically it is a giant pulse of radiative blast that just blows up everything in its path that comes out of the mouth, except for the only Godzilla known to the- well, yeah, Shin Godzilla, who shoots lasers out of everywhere. <laughs> And I mean that quite literally. But let's just follow, I just want to put that out there. But just regular Godzillas all over the place all have this iconic ability known as the Atomic Breath. And I guess, as I said, it's a radioactive blast that just, it's basically a giant pulse of radiation formed into a fire and it just blasts everything in its path. And the color for Godzilla 2021 is a blue Atomic Breath. Next we have combat. Now I did say combat and agility separately. I'm gonna combine them when I'm going over them just because it's so, you know, it goes hand in hand. Now when it comes to combat, this Godzilla by far, Godzilla 2021, is the most adverse in combat. He can kick, he can punch, he can fight, you know, he can um, tail whip. Oh my goodness. The tail whip is by far one of the most deadliest tail whips I've seen from any Godzilla. He has literally killed an opponent. He killed the Muto with the, you know, with the uh, tail whip. So you can't mess with the tail whip of, you know, legendary Godzilla. It is out there. It is strong. It is fast. And when it comes to agility, as I said, it goes hand in hand. His agility. He's very agile. So when it comes to combat, he's quick. He's fast. His stamina is incredibly good. I mean, at the end of the day, he is the only Godzilla we have physically seen survive a blast from the oxygen destroyer. Now finally we have the burning ability, and this one's interesting because it has two catalysts that need to be fulfilled outside of his body. Meaning, the first catalyst is radiation. That means more radiation than his body already possesses. We could usually be done with an atomic bomb hitting Godzilla, so more radiation in his body will trigger the first phase, and the second one is Mothra. The complete energy of Mothra, meaning she obviously has to die and give her full essence to Godzilla. Those two things combined, you will set him in going into burning mode. And basically he is, you know, in extremely hot temperatures. His atomic breath changes into, I would say, an atomic blast more than an atomic breath. But it's essentially the same thing. And it becomes red color and basically just explodes at super high, you know, temperatures and his atomic breath is incredibly powerful. And basically he melted the King Ghidorah alive with this ability in Godzilla King of the Monsters. It is very powerful. And he does not get damaged by it, unlike the other Godzilla 1995, who does actually die from it. This Godzilla does not get damaged, actually just gets recharged by it, quite frankly. And uh, that is the burning ability. Basically explodes at super hot temperatures and his atomic breath is just out of this world. It's basically a supercharged version of the regular atomic breath. So it's super deadly. Alright folks, that is essentially going to sum up Godzilla 2021. Let's move on to Shin Kong. Some people like to call him Shin King Kong, but we'll just go with Shin Kong. 
So Shin Kong came to existence back when other Kong species were alive. One female Kong ventured past Skull Island into a deep storm, and a whirlpool pulled her into an underwater cave where nuclear waste has been piling up and Shin Godzilla has been growing there. And the female Kong died due to the, you know, drowning, and Shin Godzilla saw an opportunity to grow its army of mutated creatures, so it ripped open the stomach of the female Kong and took in DNA samples and combined it with its own reproductive system to create Shin King Kong, who will always bow down to Shin Godzilla. Basically a slave, in, you know, in essence. So this is the backstory I came up with for Shin Kong, and it's quite frankly very brutal. As you know now, we know the backstory. So abilities, again, quick skim, Atomic lasers, sharp flesh stripping teeth, strong jaws, sharp claws, adaptation, form change, reptile shin skin, and chest super lasers. Territorial is maximum, aggression is low, biome is unlimited, I'll go over that why in the abilities when we go over it deeply, and height is 126 meters tall, so it's actually only 6 meters taller than Godzilla 2021, so quite frankly they're pretty close. Alright, abilities, let's go back now, let's go into it. Atomic lasers. Now, this comes from Shin DNA. You know, Shin has atomic lasers. Shin Kong obviously has Shin DNA mutated into it, so he is going to have atomic lasers. Sharp flesh ripping teeth. Obviously, again, you know, Kong is more of a primate. He does have sharp teeth, but not a lot. It's more of human like teeth. With the Shin DNA in there, it's going to become more of like Godzilla like uh, reptilian teeth, so that's why he has sharp flesh ripping teeth. Again, because of the Shin. DNA. Now, let's continue. Strong jaws. Simply, again, it just goes on with a sharp flesh ripping teeth. He can bite and basically rip, you know, flesh apart. Powerful. Oh, indeed. Sharp claws. Again, it's going to come from Shin DNA. It's going to become reptilian like claws, unlike, you know, Concats, more like human, you know, fingernails. Instead, it's going to be sharp reptilian Godzilla like claws. Adaptation! Yes, this is important. This comes from Shin DNA again, and we know that Shin Godzilla can evolve, form 1, form 2, form 3, form 4, and going into form 5, which you obviously did not see yet, if they're going to make a new film to see it. But he can adapt and evolve, to fit the environment. And the reason, and that's actually the reason why I put the biome as unlimited, because his adaptation ability, he can, you know, evolve and adapt to fit the environment. Its evolution is unstoppable, it adapts, that's why biome is unlimited. So yes, Shin Kong can change forms and fit the adaptation. Not only the environment, but just fit the situation. So quickly adapt to the situation. That is dangerous for the opponent. And I went, you know, it's another ability called form change, but I essentially went over that because of the adaptation, so don't skip that. Reptile Shin Skin. So yes, Kong Skin is, you know, it's like, a th it's thick, but it's easily penetratable, as we know, you know, you know, propellers from a helicopter can, you know, destroy the skin, bullets can hurt the skin, but because Shin DNA is, you know, set in, rep uh, uh, Shin Kong is going to have reptile Godzilla-like skin, it's going to be very difficult to break apart. Finally, we have chest super lasers. Yes, just like Shin Godzilla who can shoot lasers out of every part of the body, almost every part of the body, um, Shin Kong can shoot chest super lasers, lasers from the middle of the chest, and they are supercharged, very powerful. Alright folks, that is going to sum up both of these two giant kaijus. Now, let's put them up against each other in a death battle, what we've all been waiting for. Let me go over the rules though. We have close range and far range, right? Now, Far Range is designed to test these opponents out at limited abilities. We're going to limit some abilities, and you're going to understand why, because not, ability, not every ability can be used at a far distance. So it's a great way to test them out at far distance, to see, what, you know, see if an opponent can win or defend when some of their abilities are cut out. It's a great way to test them out. And then we have Close, which is basically face-to-face. Alright, so let's see what abil abilities uh, Shin Kong can or cannot use in terms of far range. Now before I do go over that, the rules are they have to be 700 meters apart. Simply means there is absolutely no physical contact. Alright. Atomic lasers, sure, they can go. Sharp flesh stripping teeth, no. You need physical contact for that, so no. Strong jaws, no. Sharp claws, no. All of these need physical contact. Adaptation, does not matter. 
Form change doesn't matter, reptilian skin doesn't matter, chest super laser, yes. So basically the main thing that he can use is atomic lasers, um, adaptation, form change, reptile shin skin, and chest super lasers. Everything else Shin Kong cannot use. Alright, now when it comes to Godzilla, atomic breath obviously can be used. Combat cannot be used because it requires physical contact. Agility and burning ability. Um, agility, yeah, sure, it can be used obviously in terms of you know offensive and defense. It doesn't, yeah, it has nothing to do with you know how far the opponent is. And the burning ability obviously can uh, be used. Now, in far distance, obviously, I'm gonna say the first one is gonna be at Godzilla to attack because he is the force of nature. He's gonna try to defend Earth with the atomic breath. And the atomic breath is gonna do, quite frankly, a lot of damage to Shin Kong. But this is where the problem is gonna set in. Shin Kong is not like a regular creature. He is a Shin creature, a Shin DNA, and Shin, cre you know, Shin DNA adapts and evolves. So that after the first time that Godzilla uses the atomic breath on Shin Kong, the adaptation and evolutionary tree will kick in, and from now on, Shin Kong will adapt to the atomic breath and will no longer uh, be damaged by it. So that's bad. That's very, very bad. And obviously Shin Kong is going to use the atomic laser or the chest super laser. Now the atomic laser obviously itself is very powerful and it's going to do a lot of damage, but the chest super laser is really going to do a lot of damage to Godzilla. Which in essence, we're obviously we're assuming all abilities are usable, Godzilla is going to go and assuming he has the catalyst to burning mode. And you know, one single blast of the burning ability is going to put Shin Kong on the edge of death. Simply on the edge of death, we're going to be honest here. But is it going to kill him? No. But it's going to do a lot of damage. But that's when the adaptation kicks in. He's going to adapt and evolve to fit the situation easily by changing a form. As I mean, our Shin DNA changes forms within mere seconds, right? Mere seconds. So, with that being said, after the first attack of the burning ability, it's essentially useless against Shen Kong because he is going to adapt and evolve. And again, by using the chest super lasers, it's going to break down Godzilla. So therefore, I'm going to have to say the winner is um, Shin Kong for far range, making it 1-0. Now, going to close range, face to face, not too much of a difference. Not really. Godzilla is 120 meters tall. Shin Kong is 126 meters tall. Six meter difference. Is there a little bit of difference? Just a little, but you know, not something crazy. All right, face to face, I personally believe Godzilla is going to overpower Shin Kong. It is going to make him fall to the ground, or you know, ram him to the ground and start just pounding Shin Kong in with kicks, claws, tail whip, biting him. I mean, Godzilla is relentless. So face to face, and you know, just ramming into each other, Godzilla is going to take the cake, and Godzilla is really going to do a lot of damage to Shin Kong. And uh, you know. Godzilla using atomic breath from that close of a distance is really gonna do, you know, rip up the flesh of Shin Kong. But again, as I said, every ability I uses is going to be adapted to. Shin Kong is gonna be adapting to the atomic breath, and quite frankly, I don't know if it's gonna go to that extent, but it's possible to say he can adapt to a way where if the atomic breath can be used against Godzilla, where it's just gonna reflect back. But we're, I'm not too sure of the anatomy of Shin Kong, so we're not going to go too in-depth to that phase. But we're simply going to say we do know this as a fact. He's going to adapt and evolve, so the atomic breath is not going to be a problem. And with that being said, again, however, the burning ability from that close of a distance, I'm sorry, but it's going to kill Shin Kong from that close of a distance. So therefore, it's going to become 1-1 one, one, tied. So instead, we're going to go to overtime and simply we're going to rate them off of their abilities over time that's how we do it so we'll go over shin kong first so atomic lasers sharp flesh ripping teeth strong jaws sharp claws adaptation form change reptile shin skin chest super lasers all right let's go over godzilla now godzilla has the atomic breath combat, agility, and burning ability. Now overall, both of their abilities, Shin Kong has more of a versatile ability, so I'm going to have to go with Shin Kong for overtime, making it 2-1 due to overtime. Winner is Shin Kong. Now obviously this is just my opinion, you can debate me in the comment section below, I'll be happy to debate you in the comment section actually. 
But anyways, thank you so much for watching, and as always, have a great and wonderful day.